Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007 and today we're looking at the Curses plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to easily put these different curses on your players to troll them and make them very confused about what's going on. So there's a really cool GUI. Um, so if we do four slash curse, we can open it up and this will give you a list of all the players. So it's only me on the server at the moment. And are you sure you want to curse yourself? Let's go ahead and do that. Up at the bottom, we can see currently cursing and the player's head and name. We can go back to choose a different person if we want. Um, but then we can look at all the different curses. So there's a wide variety and they are all currently disabled. So we can turn some on and see what they do. So there's one that makes it when you milk a cow, you get lava. One where you place blocks and they immediately disappear. There's a chat spam one. There's a surprise chest which explodes when you place it down. There's some others to do with ore and water, colored wool, where you get random wool, no damage, and the multiplicator, which spawns multiple mobs every time you kill a mob. So as you can see, if we were to milk this cow, we're going to get a bucket of lava instead of milk, uh, which would be very confusing, and the chat is just going absolutely wild. If you put down a chest, it's going to explode. Um, as you can see here, it just, just explodes immediately. And then if we start putting blocks down, after a few seconds, they're going to start disappearing, as you can see. And that would be uh, rather annoying if you were trying to build a house or get away from mobs, for example. So we can go ahead and disable these. Um, let's go ahead and make sure they are all off. And we can see the mob multiplicator is still on. So if we kill the spider, two spiders are going to spawn. And then if we kill these two spiders, there's going to be four spiders and so on. So if you see one creeper and you kill it, it's going to be a very bad time for you. As you can see, they just keep spawning. Every time you kill one, two spawn, and you can't really do much about that. The same goes for passive mobs. If I can actually hit this chicken um, with about five spiders trying to attack me at the same time. So let's open up the curse menu again and have a look at some others. There's a special gift. So every 30 seconds, you will get a random item, which is um, actually a nice curse, to be honest. I'd like that. And we also have the Creeper Stalker curse, which will spawn a creeper nearby. Then if we enable the Village Egg and Insta Break curses. So the Insta Break is going to immediately break your tools when you break a block, for example. And the Villager one will spawn a villager instead of a chicken when you throw an egg on the ground. So let's go ahead and grab an egg. And if we throw this on the ground, we are going to get a baby villager there he is instead of a chicken which would be quite confusing um, some of these curses uh, players might not immediately realize that they have a curse on them um, but other ones like the disappearing blocks um, are quite apparent so let's go ahead and turn a few more on so let's turn on the maybe extreme full damage the random blocks one as well that one's good and if I give myself a, a random axe so diamond axe one if I can spell it correctly Let's go ahead and test this out. So if we break one block with this, what's gonna happen? It just disappears, it breaks immediately. And it even works with swords, as you can see. So let's go ahead and place some blocks down. And as you can see, random blocks are being placed, like so. There is just, you know, the most random blocks being placed instead of this stone. Um, so this is quite a fun one as well, although they could get a diamond block, which would um, be, you know, pretty good. And if we go back into the GUI, we can look at the fake kick message. So what this does is kicks a player from the server with a connection timeout message instead of you have been kicked. So they're none the wiser about actually being kicked from the server. So if we go back into the GUI now, we can see that we have no curses. They are all disabled when you leave the server, which is pretty cool. However, you can disable that in the config file. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel. And as you can see, there are two YML files. So we've got the messages.yml, this is all the messages that will be sent to the player. So you can see there are um, just a few here. You can change the color codes and format codes if you want, but there's no real reason to. And then if we go into the config.yml, so in here up at the top, we've got a very useful thing. So we can remove the curses when a player leaves. So this is probably a good idea because you might actually forget to uncurse someone and that could get quite annoying. Do you want to be reminded when a new version of the plugin is available for download? And then we have a list of all the different curses. So we've got the slot they're in, the status, and obviously the law and name. So you could change this, you could customize it a little bit if you wanted to, but honestly, there's no real reason to. I think it's um, you know a really fantastic and well-made plugin. 
So you could just keep this how it is or change some IDs or whatever you want. But that is everything in the config file. So if we go over to the Spigot page, you can see there is a lot of cool information here. You can see it's updated to the latest version of Minecraft. Um, there's some information about the config file. And if we scroll down, um, you can see lots of five star reviews. So it's a fantastic plugin. If you want to download it, head over to the Spigot page. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.